Nice backflip off of the, the ramp into a moonwalk. Stoppy. Very, very cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And last episode we played as Avenger. I guess I'm just in a green mood because we're today we're gonna do Gas Monkey Garage. That Gas Monkey Garage was a truck that was around for a very short amount of time, but uh, it was a cool truck while it was out. And they are uh, native to Texas. They, uh, they're based here in Dallas, actually. I wanna go to their garage. They're not exclusive to monster trucks. They actually have a lot of um, uh, hot rods and things like that is what they, they, they tend to restore. Oh, geez. And we're gonna do head to head. I realized last episode, oh, come on. Yeah, come on, oh good, I got it. <laughs> I think I think Gravedigger messed up more than I did. <laughs> oh, hi, Gravedigger. Oh, nice. Okay, so Grave Digger's out of the way. Let's see, who is our competition? Soldier Fortune Black Ops is we're going against next. I think it's gonna be Earthshaker who takes it all the way. Let's find out. But yeah, anyway, last episode I realized that uh, I didn't do the events in the correct order. So, uh, you know, Monster Jam events, they start with racing and then they move into freestyle. And uh, I started with freestyle and moved into racing. I think it's because I prefer freestyle to racing, um, but everybody does, right? It, it's just, mm, yeah. You know, racing's also fun, but uh, most people prefer freestyle to racing, and when you're playing a video game, you tend to do the things that you enjoy most. Now, in real life, there's a practical reason for doing racing first, and that's because when you do freestyle, you tend to break the truck, and you want to make sure that your truck is in the prime condition to race, so you do racing first. <laughs> there's Soldier Fortune Black Ops out of the way, Gas Monkey Garage rep in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, buddy. Aha, I called it. Earthshaker made it all the way to the finals. Let's move on. Of course, here in Wilkesbury in Steel Titans 2, there's two maps. There's Wilkesbury 1 and then Wilkesbury 2. Wilkesbury 2 is the one that I really like. Wilkesbury 1 is kind of boring. It's just kind of a, a loop. It's more of like a, uh, a Detroit style racing where it's just going to go up and then around, down the chicane, and then it's over. But, uh, you know, it's in, in Wilkesbury 2, you kind of do this like back and forth, up and over uh, crush cars. It's a little more exciting. Go! Oh, just a good start. But, uh, you know, we'll do what we can. Wilkesbury 1 is the first one on the list, so that's what we'll do. Woohoo! Oh, don't you flip. I knew it. I saw it coming. I knew you were going to flip. I'm going to lose to Earthshaker. No! <laughs> oh, man. I lost hard. All because he flipped. That's a that's a bummer. All right, Earthshaker won. Okay, so last episode I said that you know I didn't want to do any more time destruction. It's just because I don't really like time destruction. It's just not my thing to do. So we're gonna do two wheel skills instead. I get three attempts this time. Three, two, one, and go. Uh, now we can do a, a sky wheelie. That does count as a two wheel skill. And of course, Stoppy's count as a two wheel skill. Then we can bring it back into a nice little moonwalk. Do some sidewall donuts, which don't actually count as a trick at all. Uh, oh, and the power out, of course. They call it a power out. That's what it, they call it. Donut and cyclone, that does count as a two wheel skill because technically a cyclone is when you go up on two wheels after doing a donut. Another big air sky wheelie. Oh, 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 there we go. Ended in a nice little power power walk there okay and we're already we're already moving into our third combo here we're in first place which is good which is good i think we'll finish this off with a nice donut cyclone combo nice and a bicycle no oh, there's the bicycle they did give it to me and a big air sky wheelie they didn't call the sky wheelie rude Seven times combo to finish things off though. That was pretty good, pretty darn good. Of course, you know, in, in real life, the technical, sorry, the two wheel skills are more about technical maneuvers like stoppies and, and holding that stoppy in, in air and uh, doing that moonwalk back up onto the pod and things like that. The, the trucks have a little bit more weight in real life or even in BeamNG, they have a little bit more weight. In Steel Titans, they tend to just like fly around the track. Uh, which is it's just cool, but it's definitely more arcadey feeling than uh, than realistic, you know. Uh, they want me to hit some 
crush cars. How did I did I not get the bicycle? Of course not. Why would I why would I get a bicycle? Nice! Eight times combo to start things off though. Yo ho ho! Nice little donut and a cyclone. We'll hit this log and get a backflip off of it. Nice. And there's a bicycle. You can't not call that one a bicycle. Thank you very much. Can I get a second one? No, of course not, because they ended my combo before I hit that beacon. I don't know why they did that. Let's come across the pod and we'll get a nice big air sky wheelie backflip. And oh, I was going to try and put it into a moonwalk, but they didn't give it to me in time. Let's hit the eight pack. See what we can do off the eight pack. Probably not much. Yeah, that's another thing in this game. The eight packs, they just don't do a whole lot. I, I'd like to hit them and uh, get a nice sky wheelie off of it. But uh, the, the angles that they put them at are kind of kind of wonky. Let's see. Can I? Oop, nope. <laughs> nope. Sure can't. Oh, there we go. There's a nice little uh, wheelie. Oh, and a stoppy. Very cool, very cool. We are in first place. We'll hit a couple of crush cars coming up this way. Nice bicycle. And a big air sky wheelie into a moon. No, not a moonwalk, but a stoppy. 6.1? How did they give me a 6.1 times combo? Oh, it's because the cars. The cars are only worth a tenth of a point. A tenth of a combo point. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I like that. I guess that's one way to prevent people from, uh, yeah, from, from, from cheating, from cheesing the system. Eh, whatever. We'll hit that. Oh, <laughs> the eight pack again. Now that one I purposefully hit on a weird angle. Oh no! <laughs> My momentum carried me into weird spots there. <laughs> that's okay. Didn't finish the strongest, but I think overall that was a pretty good freestyle run. All right, let's do Crush Hour. Now, this is in Camp Crushmore, and it is one of those derby races where uh, where half the trucks are going one way, half are going the other way. Three, two, one, and go. We've got, uh, we've got Blue Thunder, and we've got Mohawk Warrior on my side. And we've got Alien Invasion. Oh, jeez. Alien Invasion, Megalodon, and, uh, ooh, that's right, we're doing a figure eight over here. Yeah, ice Cream Man on the other side. Oh, oh, what, what happened there? I don't understand. I think, oh, I know what it is. It's the stinking Defender's ability, man. That Defender's ability is just pushing me out of the way. And since I am not a Defender, I'm a, uh, a, a destruction, a demolition, whatever, which does absolutely nothing for me on these outdoor races. But then uh, I just I end up losing hard. I'm like, oh, I'm just getting rocked. I'm getting knocked around everywhere. Uh, there's so many defenders here, too. There's uh, Alien Invasion. There's uh, Mohawk Warrior. So many defenders that just were knocking me around everywhere. Yeah, I didn't stand a chance, man. I didn't stand a chance. I want to do it one more time, though. It was only one lap. We're doing the official length. I'm going to try and avoid everybody because I had a pretty good start and I keep forgetting I've got boosts in this game. I can boost off the finish or the starting line. Here we go. Three, two, one and go. Yes. And now I can boost. Oh, that was not a good time to boost. Not a good time to boost. Oh. Well, everybody got kind of jammed up there. And it's me and Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder is a, a, he's one of those wild cards, so he's got a bunch of uh, boosts if he chooses to use them. He's just gonna smash into Ice Cream Man though. And I'm gonna ride along the embankment a little bit, or the barrier rather. No! <laughs> I don't know who that was, but they bumped me. It was a defender, whoever it was, probably Alien Invasion. Ugh. Third place. Oh, second place. I think Blue Thunder got first. Ouch. What did I hit? I don't even know. Oh. All right, we're gonna move on to Toronto though. Boy, I tell you what, I sure hope that they get the controls figured out and whatever the next Monster Jam game is, whether it's Steel Titans 3 or something else, they really need to get these controls figured out because uh, that, was, that was just crazy. I hope that whatever game that they come up with next doesn't have like 
crazy abilities like the defender ability and useless abilities like the destruction ability here, the demo demolition derby guys, demolition crew. I mean, it's it's absolutely useless outside of time destruction events, you know? Anyway. Uh, speaking of useless, that's uh, that's me this time. Let's redo that. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one, and go. Perfect start this time. Uh, okay, let's see if we can uh, if we can do this here in Toronto. I, this is my least favorite of the head to heads. I don't know why I chose it because I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it in Steel Titans one, and I hate it in Steel Titans two because I always go off track. Hey, at least, you know, I was off track for more than half a second and it uh, it didn't reset me. That's good. Oh, it looks like uh, Rottweiler, <laughs> he messed up. Gave me a little bit of an, a, an opportunity to catch up. That's good. Thank you, Rottweiler. All right, that was a much better first round. Let's move on to the second round. I didn't even stop to see who I'm going to be going against. I just kind of clicked on through everything. I, I, I guess I forgot I was making a video there for a second. <laughs> anyway, Gas Monkey Garage. Very cool truck. I love it. And a Sparkle Smash. That's one you never really see a whole lot in uh, in the game. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Come on, Gas Monkey. Let's go. But yeah, like I said, I hope whatever game that they uh, that they make next, whatever Monster Jam game comes out next, that they work on these controls a little bit because yeah man <laughs> it's so obnoxious in this game all right here we go sparkle smash is out of the way who we got going on here son of a digger and avenger let's see who is going to go in the finals i hope it's avenger that would be kind of cool but first we got to get through octanator let's do it now so here's the thing speaking of controls i don't really want a super realistic game like bmng and that's what i've got bmng for for something super realistic right i enjoy having a game that is more arcade feely like this like steel titans but uh the abilities are so not balanced you know like uh the 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 defender's ability is so overpowered and the the demolition crew their ability is so like lackluster there is no reason to have a demolition crew unless you're playing as a, a time destruction event that's the only time that it actually helps you and even then how much does it actually help you not much some of the outdoor events i guess you can uh, bust your way through some obstacles but again how much does it actually help you not much <laughs> not much at all but anyway i'll stop complaining about the game that i'm playing and enjoying thoroughly i just you know that's on my list of uh complaints to to remedy in the next game whatever it's going to be if it's steel titans 3 or, or whatever the next title is avenger has taken it on to the finals let's go one thing that i really really hope that they implement in the next steel titans game or whatever the next monster jam game is going to be is the ability to customize your truck uh you know to some extent like i would like to have the ability to add some variations to avenger right like i'd love to be able to do like the global avenger or the world final any any of the world finals avengers three two one and go like even if you just were able to change the base coat color and have a recolor i think that would be really really cool and it'll go a long way to making the game more interesting and more replayable i i would think but you know that's just me nice so even though i messed up that first very first round uh everything after that was smooth as butter man <laughs> That's right, I'm the best. Even on Toronto, the map that I hate the most, I'm still the best gas monkey gas monkey garage driver there is. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Two wheel scales. This time, though, I'm going to challenge myself to doing more uh, standard two wheel type skills, right? Like, uh, you know, uh, either wheelies or, or nose wheelies or, uh, you know, something, something that's a little more traditional to what a two wheel skill would be uh, i may i may be ending up shooting myself in the foot but we're gonna try it here um how am i gonna do that though let's see 
that's not gonna work. I don't know, it's hard to do it in this game. Yeah, there was a stoppy. And that's about all I'm gonna get. Oh, there's a wheelie. Nice, 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 nice stop a wheelie there. I mean, I could always do the donuts because, you know, donuts count as two skills. And there's also, you know, in real life uh, uh, Monster Jam events, the, whoa, ended up in a, <laughs> in a stoppy. Yeah, anyway, like in, in real life Monster Jam events, you can do either a two wheel skill. Oh, geez, nice little endo there. You can either do a two wheel skill or you could do a donut. Um, you know, depending on what your preference is, right? Nice bicycle there. That counts as a two wheel skill. That's what I should probably work on is uh, doing bicycles. I love that the game doesn't automatically turtle you. I remember Steel Titans 1 always turtles you, Doug, got it. <laughs> All right, here we go, Detroit Freestyle. I don't know, but what kind of features are you looking for in a Monster Jam game? Like what, what kinds of things would be on your perfect Monster Jam game list? Like if you had anything you could possibly want, what would it be? Leave a comment and let me know. I mean, I, I, I can't say that I'll do anything about it because uh, I don't know anybody in the game development world. <laughs> But, uh, you know, in case there's some devs out there who watch my videos, maybe, maybe if you leave some comments, then they'll come in and they'll see that and they'll say, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> and they'll implement it. You never know. You might be a catalyst for change. You never know. <laughs> anyway, here we are. We're doing freestyle in Detroit. Let's get some donuts and a cyclone going. Whoa, okay, maybe we can get a backflip off the back over here. That's not what you're supposed to do. The uh, the officials would probably get very mad at me. Uh, and, you know, I ended up turtling. That's my punishment for doing a backflip off the back over there. Not supposed to do that. That can actually destroy the stadium if you do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they don't like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Big air, sky wheelie, little bit of a bicycle, and they did give it to me. Thank you very much, judges. Oh, let's come right over here. This is the official backflip container. And you know what? The official backflip containers work worse than uh, doing a backflip off of the back backside where I'm not supposed to do backflips. Nice backflip off of the, the ramp into a moonwalk. Stoppy. Very, very cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Got a seven times combo. Nice little bicycle eight times combo. That's enough to put me in the first place. Very, very cool. We'll get up here on the pod. I want to come off the pod and up on the log stack. Whoa, big air sky wheelie. Not even a big air, just a sky wheelie. And a wheelie wheelie. Oh, into a stoppy. Can I bring it back into a moonwalk? Just got to feather it. Feather it back. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Can I get a backflip? Uh, 11 times combo, very cool. Oh, come on, I was still going. That timer goes down too fast sometimes. <laughs> that was a great combo though. All right, we're gonna finish off this set with a waypoint race. This is Dune Dash out here in the wastelands. One of my favorite areas. Oh, backwards Bob, I forgot backwards Bob is in this one. Three, two, one, and go. Man, so many good trucks are in Steel Titans too. They, of course, the roster should be bigger. I mean, that's definitely on my laundry list of things that uh, needs to be improved in the next Monster Jam game. But, uh, you know, the, the, the list that is in Steel Titans 2 is actually pretty impressive considering most of them are independents that are, are not owned by Feld. And this is an official Feld licensed uh, game. So, whoa! Jeez, gas monkey, you crazy monkey, you. Oh no, no, gas monkey, you're, you're killing me. Oh no, <laughs> there's Sparkle Smash, I'm cutting you off. Cutting you off, Sparkle Smash. Oh no, everybody's getting farted by Captain's Curse over there, a pirate's curse. Oh, is that Bob? I think that's Bob. <laughs> I've got a booster, but I don't, I don't feel comfortable using it right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna take Bob for a ride. Oh, Nelly. 
There we go. Okay, great time for a boost right there. Okay, come on. I need to get another boost so I can boost ahead of Stone Crusher. Which Stone Crusher is back next year, which is awesome. I'm glad for that. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got our boost. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Nope, I'm not going to make it. Not going to make it. Oh, Mohawk Warrior beat me just by a hair, too. Pretty good. Pretty good race overall, though. That was a lot of fun. All right, that is going to do it for this episode, though. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, I can't get a backflip off that. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, jeez, gas monkey.